So starting first, I am gonna take a carry-on with me because so we did last time with Emirate and it worked perfectly for us. I have my stuff in here, Andre's and the baby stuff. That's what we did with Emirate. That way everything is contained in one space. And it was like the perfect scenario for us, except if you guys remember, I'm packing a lot more stuff for Andre this time, or at least Andre's packing a lot more stuff for himself. Okay, so I have everything kind of set up for myself and the baby. So I figured let's just pack it together and I'll kind of go over with what I'm packing. I have my list from last time from Emirate and I'm kind of taking some stuff away from what I used and didn't use. Okay, so let's start first with the baby stuff. Let's do it, I'm so excited. I'm so excited and like a little like nervous because tomorrow I'm 38 weeks. So you know, stuff, it's, it's happening, it's getting real. <laughs> I have my suitcase organizers and I just got these from Amazon. Amazon has some really great ones. But I like this one because it's a little bit more durable, but you can still see through it. Okay, 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 let's do it. Okay, so first for the baby, obviously we have the car seat with the newborn insert. We're using the Duna from Emirate. That's gonna be ready set up in the car and have the little newborn insert right there. So I have that. Next, I have on the list, I have a little onesie, just the white simple one. This one is, I think, zero to three months. Yes, zero to three months. And this one also has little mittens attached. So I don't need extra mittens on top of this little outfit. But I figured I would probably layer the baby since it is January, it's a little bit colder, just depending on the weather. But I wanted to take a little onesie with me or just even have the baby wear it at the hospital. We'll see. What Emirate pretty much wore the entire time at the hospital was a little hat, mittens, and then he was just swaddled without anything underneath with a diaper because we just did a lot of body, like skin to skin time. So that's why I'm just gonna take one with me. Next we have right here in this little thing, I have little shoes, I have mittens, I have a hat, and I actually have two diapers in here. So, well obviously, first one is a little head bow, headband, or I don't know what you call this, like a little bow, headband. This right here, because we don't know who we're having, I want to take a picture or a video for my family since they're not going to be there at the hospital to meet the baby. And if it's a little girl, she's going to have a little headband with a little bow. And if it's a little boy, it's just going to be a simple hat like Emirate was or had. So I have a little bow. This is from Lulu Company. Lulu and Company. I'm going to keep it in the package just in case it's not a little girl. I don't want to, you know, get it dirty or whatever. Next we have, I have a little pacifier in here with a clip. We used a pacifier with Emirate, I think on the way home, but I didn't really give him a pacifier at the hospital. So we'll see. I'm taking one just in case. Then what do I have in here? A little shoes. This is to go home in. When Emmerich was born and we took him home, I put shoes on him and it was like the cutest little memory ever. So I have two pairs of shoes, depending if it's a boy or a girl because I have two different outfits to go home in, but boy or a girl couldn't wear either one. So I have these ones from Nami's or Nomi's and Emmerich wore a similar pair. These are actually from Emmerich. He just never wore them going home. He did wear them a couple of times when he was a newborn, but they're super cute, really, really soft leather, and I love these. Like, look how cute these are. They're so cute. And then I have these little sock booties from Quincy May. also. These are Emirates, and the baby is gonna wear these ones. And then I have two little hats. This is actually from the swaddle right here. It's a little swaddle set that I'm taking with me. It's that type of um, like jersey, really stretchy material. That's what Emirate, that's what I used with Emirate. It's just I used a different pattern. And this right here is a new set that I bought for this baby specifically. So in this set, you have the swaddle. You have, let me, let me see where they are, little mittens. Like look how cute these are. And then I bought a little hat, like I said, either for a boy or a girl, but even if it's a little girl, she's gonna wear this as well. But then also I got a little headband. <laughs> I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. That would be a great little announcement. So we have that. And then I got an extra little going home hat. It's just a knitted hat and that's gonna be for both 
either a girl or a boy with their going home outfit. So in here, I have two outfits to go home into. So the first one is for a little girl. And this right here is by the brand Lulu and Company. And I love their little two-piece newborn sets because they have little footies. And then with the little top, you have little mittens integrated into the outfit, so I don't need extra. And I just thought this little set is so sweet. And the pants are like super high rise. So for the belly button, so the belly button doesn't get, you know, irritated <laughs> or the umbilical cord. So this is really, really great. And I loved, loved these with Emirates. So if it's a little girl, she'll go home in this with this little top. Look how cute the little buttons are on there. And like I said, you have little mittens integrated into the top, which I love. And then if it's a little boy, we're gonna do this little outfit from Quincy May. And this is also Emirates. So I figured these cute little blue booties with the set is the cutest thing ever. And this one right here has a little tie on the side so it's nice and comfortable, really soft. And I actually use this with Emirates, so this is perfect. And then the little pants, they have little sock booties attached. So perfect for winter baby. I'm so excited for this. I'm like getting so emotional just thinking about this right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like I said, a little hat, a knitted hat from Zara to go home in. So not bringing too much stuff for the baby, but I just, you know, want to be a little bit prepared. Like with Emirate, I, like I said, I only use diapers in the actual hospital from the hospital. Like I use their, their diapers, but I'm also bringing my own diapers from that I'm using Coterie. These are the newborn set. So I'm just bringing two diapers with me. And this is gonna go into my diaper bag. You know, just on the way home, just in case there's a blowout or something. Then, last but not least, I'm bringing, I think, one or two burp cloths. Just, you know, for feeding or whatnot. I don't remember if I brought burp cloths with me last time. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm just getting these white ones right here just these long ones that I got from Amazon. I love these ones with Emirate. They're very soft, but they absorb the burp <laughs> or the milk really well. So these are coming with me. And then last but not least, oh, I actually got two little onesies. Might as well just get two, just in case we have a blowout. Probably not, but maybe. This right here is a blanket that my mother-in-law knitted for Emirate, and Emirate used this pretty much like the first three, four months that he was born and he, well, we all loved it, but I'm taking this with me just because it's such a keepsake and I wanna use this with this baby as well. And it's made out of merino wool and she knitted this entire thing and I think it's just the most incredible thing ever. So this is coming with us and I'm so excited. All right, we got the baby stuff packed. So the one thing I'm not bringing with me are nail clippers or just a nail filer, just because with Emirate, they were so soft, his fingernails, that I didn't touch them for I think the first two weeks. And then after we gave him his first bath, that's when we kind of trimmed his nails and I used an electric nail filer. And then last but not least, a baby book. This baby's book hasn't come in yet, and I don't know if it will on time, so that's why I'm not packing it yet, because I don't have it. <laughs> Bad timing on me, but you know, it's just like, so many things were back ordered and that was one of them. So we have baby stuff right here, which is so exciting. And I think I'm gonna put Andre's stuff in here, like Andre's toiletries and his outfits. And then I'll put my stuff in here. Just cause I have a little bit more things than everybody else. <laughs> okay, so for myself, first thing, I'm packing my toiletry bag. Everything is inside here, like my makeup, my skincare, my hair care, everything is inside. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna stay in the hospital, but if it's a C-section, I think two, three days. I'm pretty sure it was three days with Emirate that we stayed in the hospital. So first thing in here, I have my makeup. I have something, I have, I have super simple makeup, makeup in here. I have my eyebrow stuff, I have concealer, I have a mascara, I have a little brush for, for my met, for my concealer, and then a lip balm that has a little bit of lip, like a little bit of a tint. So super, super simple. And I did put a little bit of makeup on when I was in the hospital with Emirates, and it just made me feel put together. It made me feel alive. <laughs> 
So I am taking a little bit of makeup with me. And then in here I have a couple of headbands. This one right here, like putting my skincare on or just, just taking my hair out of my face. And then I have one more headband, I think maybe for like pictures, just because I love this pant headband so much. I'm gonna take it with me and it's very practical getting the hair out of your face. Then I have my skincare in here. I have my um, razor. <laughs> I have body wash. I have my makeup cleansers, everything like that, all small size. I have a couple more lip balms in here, my shampoo and conditioner. Uh, travel size and then I have like ear swabs, cotton pads, things like that in here and also I have an extra hair tie, can't forget the extra hair tie and then I think I have some Tylenol in here, yes I have Tylenol in here just in case, you know. Very simple, keeping it very clean and I'm gonna go through this one more time to see what kind of skincare I wanna take with me extra for like daytime and nighttime. And I, the one thing I don't have in here is my sunscreen, so that's the one thing I can't forget. Sunscreen, and that's on my list. <laughs> I literally wrote every toiletry in detail, like what I wanna take with me. So my toiletry bag is right here. I was gonna bring my towel, but I'm debating if I should or, sh or shouldn't because I didn't take one in em with Emirates and I'm thinking I maybe will with this baby, but we'll see. It's just, you know, I wasn't planning to be in the hospital with Emirates, so it was a little bit different <laughs> last time. Next, we have my actual clothes outfit, like what I'm bringing with me and why. Okay, so the very first thing was do my going home outfit. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did with Emirates except I'm gonna have a coat or a jacket on top. So the very first thing is, it's kind of like a nursing bra slash like lounging bra from Blanqui. And this is really great. I use these with Emirate and I love these. So it's ripped, it's beautiful, it fits, it works. And it's great for nursing because you could just open it up really well. And then I'm just taking a regular black little sports top from Lululemon because it's stretchy, it's comfortable, it's airy, it's breathable, and from what I remember, I was super, super, super sweaty when I was nursing, and just after giving birth with like all the fluids and the liquids and just the hormones, I was really, really sweaty, so I want something really comfortable, light, and airy, but still, you know, they'll keep me warm. And then these right here are postpartum leggings from Blanqui. They're the ones that have the really tight support around the waist and the belly and I had a c-section last time so this was very comfortable with a c-section especially having the wrap around my belly and then the leggings on top to kind of help compress everything and hold me in these are really really incredible and then last but not least I'm taking the exact same sweater that I wore or cardigan with Emirate last time it's just a longer cardigan. It's really soft, it's really comfortable, and it's open, so it's really easy access to uh, feeding, nursing. <laughs> and then I have my stuff that I'll actually wear at the hospital. So the very first thing, this is the bra I'm going to labor in. This right here is by the brand True & Co. Or is it just True? Yeah, True & Co. This is just a very simple bralette. I really, really like these. I love these with Emirates, so I'm gonna take this to labor in, depending if I go in naturally or if it's with a C-section, so we'll see, but I'm taking this with me because it's also really great for nursing. And then I have this one right here also, it's like a lounging nursing bra that you just kinda, you know, pull. So it's really comfortable. I love these with Emirates, so I'm taking one with me as well. So I have two nursing bras. And then I'm taking socks. These ones right here are really great to walk around the hospital in if you're not wearing any kind of sandals or slippers because they do have little grippies on the bottom. And these ones are super, really soft, really, really comfortable. And then just extra socks that are just, they're wool. So really comfortable to wear when you're in bed or just walking around your own room. Really soft, really comfy. It's gonna keep me nice and warm. And then of course, I'm gonna bring some stand, some slippers with me. I think these are the ones I actually took with me to the hospital with Emirate and I love them. They're just ones you slide in and they're, I, I really enjoy these. So they're coming with me as well. And then last but not least, this is kind of what I'll just be lounging in at the hospital. We have a bathroom. I got this entire set from a pee in a pod. So a nice little like mid-size, mid-length 
bathrobe with pockets and a waist tie and then it comes with like a nursing tank top which looks actually really comfy i've never tried this before so we'll see how i like it we'll see and then i have pants as well like little lounge pants and i figured i wanted pants instead of a gown just because if I'll be walking around, I don't know. I feel like I might be more comfortable. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. But at least we have this right here, like a little three piece set. And then last but not least in here, I have nursing pads and then what was this called? After ease drops. So I have two disposable nursing pads, which I actually really, really, really love with Emirate. And then these right here, reusable, washable nursing pads. I just have two sets, well three in total. And then I took where I'm taking the After Ease Drops by Wish Garden. It's basically what I heard with every pregnancy. The contractions get worse and worse when you breastfeed because it's just, it's just trying to go back to normal. So I heard that this is actually very, very helpful. So we'll see. My contractions were not horrible when I was breastfeeding with Emirates. Like they were completely manageable and bearable and not bad at all. But I heard that for the first several days, like the second, third, fourth, etc., pregnancy, it can get pretty bad. So I'm taking this with me. And that's all going in here. Got my slippers, got my outfit. And then the last thing is the outfit to the hospital. That's going to depend on if it's a scheduled C-section. <laughs> that way I already know what I'm gonna wear to the hospital or if like my water breaks or you know I start going to labor naturally, that's all gonna depend on what it is. But I do have in mind on what I'm gonna wear. I'm just gonna wear some maternity leggings with a uh, nursing bra and then uh, just either like a sweater on top or like a really simple t-shirt with a jacket. And then that jacket and those shoes that I'm wearing, that's what I'll go home in as well. So keeping it nice and simple for myself for like the outfit things. And then I was going to bring um, extra like underwear for after birth and then um, like all the postpartum care, but they provide everything at the hospital. And again, I don't know if I'm gonna have a C-section because we didn't schedule it yet or if I'm gonna go into labor naturally. So that's all going to dep depend on what type of birth I have. So that's why you're not seeing a lot of like postpartum care just because they provide most of it at the hospital. And then what else am I not packing in here as of yet? I'm not packing any snacks. <laughs> We're gonna get the snacks, I think either tomorrow or the next day because we kind of want to talk about what kind of snacks I want to have and just, you know, be, be, prepared, be prepared with that. But also Andre, I, I believe can leave the hospital this time. So if anything, he can go out and get the snacks for us. But last time when we were in the hospital, it was like mid pandemic. So Andre actually couldn't leave the hospital. So we were stuck without any snacks. <laughs> and then last but not least, Andre's stuff, which is like now fit to go home in, change of like socks, underwear, things like that. And then all the electronics he's in charge of, laptops, chargers for the phone, the cameras, all that good stuff to vlog and just take pictures and just, you know, for all the memories. And the one thing I was, like I saw a lot of people suggesting, especially for the second pregnancy and if you're going to have a C-section, grab your own blank blanket, blanket and a pillow. I think I want to grab that for Andre just so he would be a little bit more comfortable. Even though they have the blankets and pillows there, I just feel like everybody would be more comfortable <laughs> with like their own thing, you know, like an extra blanket, an extra pillow. So I think that's what I'm gonna grab for Andre as well. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this for Andre for his outfits and his toiletries. And I think we are good to go. I feel a little better. <laughs> feel a little bit more prepared. Okay, I think we are good. I know some people have an opinion that this is too much, might be too little, but this is what works for myself and Andre. This is what we did last time, even though it was supposed to be a completely different birthing experience at a different place. But from what we've learned, overpacking just by a little bit 
makes me feel comfortable and makes Andre feel comfortable and just kind of feel put together in a way that way you're not like oh my gosh I forgot this I forgot that and then you're kind of you know all over the place and you just you don't want you want to be comfortable in the moment where you know things are changing so rapidly you know that's my hospital bag I'm very happy I packed this just because I'm 38 weeks tomorrow and if it is going to be a scheduled c-section I am giving birth next week at 39 weeks so I'm glad I have this done. The only thing, I just want Andre to pack his stuff and we are good to go, you guys. Whew, it's exciting stuff. <laughs> exciting, nerve wracking, just all the emotions at once, you know? But thank you for watching and we'll see the next one very soon.